Hi guys. Um, I just wanted to pop on here real quick and I got uh, a couple of pieces of unexpected mail, which is really exciting. Um, I got these two books uh, coloring in the mail because um, my artwork is in here. Let me show you right right there oops let's see camera with tripod is in the way let me see if I can zoom in so you guys can see that and turn it that one there is mine um, it is used as a sample in this book let me zoom back out this one is um, Mindfulness Coloring Collection. Um, these are all by um, Design Originals is the company. I did some commission work for them about a year and a half ago. Um, here's the... So th at the beginning of the books, they all have like sample coloring pages on, on how you can color the... The, the things and like here is the page that I colored let's see where is it I, I flagged it right there there's the page that I colored it was very intricate lots of little tiny details but um, <clears throat> this was a commission piece I had done um, some other work for some of their other books and then they asked me to color some extra things and I never heard anything more about it, so I figured that my work was not going to be included. And then all of a sudden, these books just showed up out of the blue. So that's pretty exciting to get them. Uh, they they said that they would, uh, you know, pay me for my for my coloring, and then also uh, give me, um, you know, the published copy. Uh, that same design is in this other one called New Guide to Coloring. This is a thicker one. I can tell. It's a thicker book. It's um, really about color and coloring and markers and there's all sorts of lessons in here of how to color, what, how, what kind of markers to, to use, what kind of crayons to colored pencils, um, gel pens, media, watercolors, all sorts of things. There's, it's, it's huge. It's got Let's see, let me skip through here. It has got, tells you about shading and stuff. So until you get to the coloring sample pages, it's got 90 pages of, of instruction. And then it's got, the rest of them are um, pages to color. And there's a lot of centangle in here. Patterns and stuff. But, um, so they used that same, that same image, um, and they put it on a mug. How awesome is that? I don't, you can't, I wish I could turn this, my, my tripod is in the way. I can't scoot back any further. But anyway, there it is. It's sideways. That's the way I can get it stuck in here. Um, but it's on a mug in this particular one. So I thought I would uh, give you a quick, a quickie overview of the other ones that I was in earlier. Um, it's been a, like a year, a year and a half, something like that, since um, these other ones were published. These ones are all um, Tangle Easy ones. Um, if you are um, part of the Ornation Creation uh, Facebook page um, done by Ben Kwok, um, we did these, uh, as part of his, uh, thing. He was doing these free templates of, um, all sorts of things on his, uh, on his website or on his, um, uh, Facebook page. Um, he was doing these free templates. So they look like this. There's, there's a fish, right? Here's, here's this one, this. I, I don't like the way this camera setup is. 
for this particular. I left it the way I leave it for my for my uh, drawing, and and it's not. But anyway, there's that one. There's the the um, stingray. And um, what you do is you take these these uh, templates. Um, they have a dark outline, but they also have this light gray where you could use that as a as a as an idea. And um, then you put your tangle patterns inside here. So um, let me show you. Okay, my there's my fish. There's my shark, my hammerhead shark, my steampunk one. I really like this one. That one. That one's one of my favorites. Um, that's my my shrimp or whatever that is. Um, I had a lot of them in here. On this page, I had this blue tuna, and I had this guy, this walrus. He was really fun to do. I decided he needed a hat and a fishing pole, and he's wearing a let me zoom in a little bit he's wearing like a zentangled sweater i don't know what the even if that had a pattern what it was called and there's a pattern up here in his hat but i just needed i decided he needed he needed a hat it's like the old man in the sea um and then there's my interpretation of that uh, stingray. I didn't like it. It was kind of boring to me. So I added these long tentacle thingies coming off. And what else? I think that's it in this book. Um, in this one, I had done one's bubble bull pets. I had done this dog. I made him look like uh, he like a a super sleuth, right? Uh, an old fashioned detective dog. You know. Um, this one here is also mine. This oops, let's zoom back out because you can't see it because I can't move the book. This, this is not working well. The uh, little chinchilla thing here at the top. Let me let me turn it so you can even see it anyway. See, look at all those little patterns I put in there. I just drew whatever suited my fancy. Um, on this page, I have this whole page on this side. I've got this little hamster eating a cracker. I filled him in with tangles and then colored him. And then I've got this uh, parrot, which I made look like stained glass and just colored it in. And then I've got this lovely boxer. He's got patterns on him. He's got some diva dance. See the diva dance right there? And I don't know what that one is. That's just some sort of stripey something. Some sand swirl in there. Um, and, oh yeah. And the snake. I didn't think I'd like doing the snake. These were commissioned, so I had no choice as to which animals I was to do. They assigned them to me. Um, snakes are not my favorite, but I really like the pattern that I did here in the snake. I found it really lent itself to this to this critter. Um, let me see. So that was on, in Lovable Pets. Inside Birds, I had this one, this uh, pelican. Most of the birds, I think, are all in black and white. This was before, I did these before um, they told us we could color them. I didn't know we could color them, so... Um, there's my pelican, and on this page, there's my seagull, 
And oh yeah. I love this one. This is not mine. This is Darla's. But look at she made her homing pigeon have this little hat and carrier bag. Uh, super cute. Um, this one's mine. The turkey. He's uh, a little dressed up. I gave him a, a, a top hat and a monocle. I think that's it in this one. Yeah, that's it in this one. I like these books too because um, if you were to do these pages in the back, they're perforated. Um, well, you can see that, but they're perforated and they're only printed with the picture on one side and on the back side there's just a, a little quote and it tells you what what the uh, what the template is. So that if you do pull this page out of the book, you can color on one side and you could frame it or whatever because um, you don't have anything on the back. Uh, and it's really great if you know you're using markers and they go through. And then the last one, oops, too far out, is um, mandalas. And there's another mandala one, and I couldn't find my other book. I must have um, not put it away last time. So uh, in the in this one, I have I have this one, oops, which I just added. I added all these lines to the simple mandala um, template. Um, I did this one. You can see the patterns in there. See, I've got some sand swirl, I've got some cadent, I've got some knight's bridge. And that's all I did, is I just filled them in, right? Cool. Um, there's two on this page that are mine. This, this one here. I really like that one. I like the, the blues and the greens and the yellows. This one is also mine. This one here. And this one's one of my favorites. And I'm glad that they did this full size. I got, I got this whole page on this side, which really excited me. This is one of the favorites that I did when I colored. I just really, really loved this one. Um, and let me show you what it looked like as the template. Oops. Where is it? I flagged it. Oh, there it is. There it is as the template. See? You can tell it's the same one. And But what I did was, on some of these lines, I ignored them. I had, um, had a digital copy, and I made it really super gray. Instead of using these dark lines, I grayed it all out so I could barely see it and then I redrew over the ones that I wanted to keep like I kept I kept this line but I had got rid of this one see oh no I didn't I kept that line ah I made a leaf right there I didn't even wow okay so I just in the here when I did that hollow ball, it looks like it's behind I did them as in these spaces here Anyway, this one was one of my favorites I've ever done, and I was so excited when I got it in a big, big one. But anyway, I just wanted to kind of let you guys see that they're out there in the world. I have yet to actually find this, these particular ones in a store. I know they're out there. Um, you can, you know, order them on Amazon or whatever. Um, ben does this amazing job. This is the, the the Facebook page. You're looking for Ornation Creation. If you're not already in that um, group, pop on over there. You'll get all of these templates that are in his books for free. He doesn't charge anything. He just asks that um, you do not distribute the blank template um, elsewhere you know don't don't make copies of it but you can use it put your artwork in it and then he allows you to do whatever you want with your artwork 
So I was excited when I was um, asked to, when they first came up with these books, they said, uh, they asked some of the artists on that Facebook page, you know, can we use your work in the book? And we will um, compensate you by just uh, giving you um, some of the copies of the book. And we were all thrilled and yeah, we said yes. And then once they did the first book, um, there's another book too, I'm missing, there's two that I'm missing. There's another Mandala one and then there's the first one that came out which is, has like a fox on the cover. Anyway, um, we were then, some of us were then commissioned to continue and um, do the ones that they wanted specific, uh, specific samples that we were assigned so that we weren't all doing the same one. At the first, you know, we were, we had all done the same one because we were all doing the ones that he did, he had done recently on um, Facebook, but they were moving ahead of Facebook. So there were, at the time, there were templates in the, in the printed book that were not yet on Facebook. They have since been put on Facebook. So they're all there. There's like 200 templates. Um, but it's a fun way to add tangles to something. You can, you know, you can see the, the complex, intricate things that people have done. Um, and added, added tangles to all of these. So much fun. And some of them are colored and some of them are not. And, you know, just, just awesome. Awesome way to do something different besides just doing a tile. So if you want to look into that, you know, go for it. I just wanted to show it to you because I got these two in the mail that just totally surprised me. I was not expecting it. So I was excited and I thought I would share with you guys. So, you know, you guys have a great day. I will be back in a minute to draw today's Daily Tangle. See ya. Bye.